Hello, my name is Jochen Weber and I'm the author of a MATLAB toolbox called NeuroElf, which can be used to analyze and visualize fMRI data. So um, today I want to show you how you can download and install this under MATLAB 2011 under Windows XP. It's principally also the same for Mac OS X and Linux. First of all, I'm opening a web browser, picking my favorite search engine, entering NeuroElf which is one word into the search box, which brings up uh, um, the very first link to the website neuroelf.net. Okay, I'm clicking on this link, which opens uh, the website, and the current version is version 0.9c, and as you can see, there is two download links. One is um, for what I would call a stable version, and uh, maybe you want to use this, but today I'm going to use what I call the latest snapshot, which also contains really the latest features and developments. So I already downloaded this, but before I um, go there, I want to quickly hint out that there's also a link to a wiki page, which I will open in a new tab and quickly show what this is about. You'll find documentation about NeuroElf here, um, how to install it, um, if you have problems, what features are implemented, how to um, set up your uh, study, your folder structure, and then how to use NeuroElf. Importantly, there's also a page on the installation, and if you run into any problems, I think it's a good idea to check out this wiki page. Um, and additionally, I can already point out that during the installation, um, some files will be created, and there's an additional function that creates an additional set of files, but this uh, function runs for about an hour, on an average machine. So instead I also put um, a zip file containing all the files that this function can create additionally on the server so you can download this instead of using this function. So I'm now switching to the folder that contains um, the downloads and as you can see there's the snapshot zip and I already unpacked this um, zip file with the additional files. I'm now double clicking the zip file which does not in fact unpack the files but it simply um, shows them in a window and so I will copy them, go back to the downloads folder and then paste them so that I can actually use them from within MATLAB. And the important file to use is the file called neuroelf oops, yeah, neuroelf uh, um, underscore vo9c which is the installer. And so I'm now switching to MATLAB and um, picking the same folder which is the downloads folder and I can already see those files. Okay, and now it informs you that it's uh, done with unpacking. Okay, so um, to now install NeuroElf, um, you enter NeuroElf underscore VO9C space minus I, which is for install. Otherwise, you just get information what the package contains. The default selection where to install is under MATLAB toolboxes. But, um, of course, you can pick any folder if you say no and then enter a folder name. But I'll pick this uh, location and then it extracts the files that are in the mat file into this folder. And I'm quickly going back to um, the downloads and here I can now see this folder and I will uh, say cut. And I will um, then navigate to the MATLAB toolbox folder and there is this uh, neural underscore vo9c folder now and if I click into this folder I can already see that um, there are several folders and I will switch into the underscore files folder and there already is a column folder but I simply say paste now and it simply uh, um, puts all the files that I have downloaded already into this column folder. Um, and then after unpacking the files the, uh, um, there's an additional function um, being called, um, which is the setup function of NeuroElf. This compiles additional files that are very computationally intensive into uh, max files. They're in C code, so this will take um, a little while. So I'm switching back to um, MATLAB, and um, then we just have to wait until this function is finished running. Okay, so um, 
at the end this also creates um, some additional uh, information in a cache that contains all the file formats that the toolbox supports and uh, now the installation is complete and you can um, then start NeuroElf's GUI by entering NeuroElf underscore GUI for graphical user interface. This will take a few seconds and uh, then it should come up with uh, a user interface that allows you to visualize data. And there it is. Okay, so I'll go over this interface in another video. Thanks for watching. Bye.